welcome back. This one too. I heard a finger snap. There we go. Okay, for some reason, the microphone just refused to start recording. Oh, all right. That was going hard. Okay. Oh, yeah, everyone, yeah. welcome aboard. Go ahead. Oh, we're starting. Yeah, we're... <laughs> we are already live. Uh, uh, <clears throat> Ahoy, everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be a Captain Hillian tonight, along with... I guess sir, first mate right here at your service. And why does my voice bar look a bit different now? Uh, it doesn't look any different to me. Um, well, it's not as green as it's used to be. Uh, but it does move, so I guess it's still working. I'm pretty sure it's been one shade of green since we started, so I don't know what you're talking about. No, no, no. It's more of a... It's two lines of green instead of a big, thick green that came off brown. It's, been, it's always been two lines. Really? For me, it always looked like it was a big, big thick line for me. Okay, it might have been due to uh, the size of the... <clears throat> might have been the, the size... The, through the size of... Uh, yeah, the Discord screen share, it looked like one of, like a single one before. Anyways, welcome to Bastion, which is, I, I believe this is this was Super Giants' first game, and, well, we, everyone who has been keeping an eye on, or an ear on games, knows uh, how their career went from there. Just up and up, with uh, only Pyre as a speed bump, I'd say. Yeah, like... Again, I don't think it was horrible, just not as enjoyable uh, as the others. Let's see. Uh, we've got normal mode, we've got no sweat mode, new game plus, uh, which we won't be doing, and score attacks, so let's not. Uh, let's see. For less experienced players of all ages, some achievements can be earned. Hmm. Shall we just go with normal? Yeah, it could be normal, but I don't think it... Or wait, it, is this game hard? Not too hard. All right, then normal it is. Nick, it's, uh, no, it's no freaking Dark Souls. Proper okay. store is supposed to start at the beginning. Ain't so simple with this one. Now here's a kid whose whole world got all twisted, leaving him stranded on a rock in the sky. Yeah. Quite the opening, huh? He gets up. Sets off for the Bastion, where everyone agreed to go in case of trouble. Uh, yeah, and everyone who knows a bit about Bastion is, well, everything builds up as you go. Ground forms up under his feet as it points away. He don't stop to wonder why. Finds his lifelong friend just lying in the road. And the other thing, the narrator, which we'll have to dance around. <laughs> well, it's a touching reunion. And yeah, he will react to a lot of things that we do. What's left of the rippling walls? Years of work undone in an instant. In the calamity. If if we spend a bit just smashing everything, he should react to that as well. Apparently not. <laughs> Maybe I moved up too far ahead uh, already on that. But yeah, things have gone to shit. No, ma'am. It's a gas fella, forced out from underground. Kid pops him good. Fella got a piece of him, though. And yeah, the, the narrator will re react to a lot of things like do like if you get through that fight without getting hit, I think he pre I'm pretty sure he reacts to that as well. An old repeater falls out of the sky. Ain't a gift from the gods, but it'll have to do. 
gotta hold her still to spin up the chamber. Simple little pistol. <clears throat> and let's just keep on moving on. We collect these as a currency. By now, so that fountain looks real inviting. Sometimes you just strong. need a drink. A, a fishbone pistol, yeah. Are you talking about the bloody dog gun or tunnels up around them? Must have crossbow the mines. Uh, yeah, I guess it's good count as a repeater crossbow. Also, hello. Uh, maybe I'm too old for it. Always use the fancier. Let's see. We start with this. City crest, memento. Not even the identification badge from the old days. All of those unofficial business from the city bear the star of Celonia. It is said to represent warmth, labor, and sacrifice. And then we have a crystal beret. A memento, a fashion accessory covered in soot. Holds great value, the sentimental variety. Also holds hair firmly in check. Best hung on to it just in case. Hey! Good. Not hung on to me. <laughs> Okay, is there something here? Yeah, just some of these. I forget what they're called. <clears throat> and yeah, those fountains we refill our health potions. In that way, the game he is a bit Celandia's famous watering holes. Inside's old Rondi, the bartender. The calamity got him for his drinking dead. Oh. Then Kid finds his trusty shield. But yeah. just as he's getting a handle on it, the security takes him for a petty thief. The shield will, of course, protect us. This is not a kid. Yes, okay, if we break these boxes quick, we can get them before they spawn, of course. And yeah, enemies have a very obvious wind up with that. There we go. More squirts start coming out of the woodwork. A big old fella pops out in front of the kid. That's a very obvious one, but that doesn't make it <laughs> that doesn't make it too easy to dodge. out the window. It's a bit of a drop. And out we go. He gets a good look at things on his way down. He lands on top of a breaker's bow, and it ain't broke. Uh, get used to him face planting. It'll happen a lot. Yeah, and I, I seriously, I don't. Draw the string all the way back. I don't think the character is a kid. I think he's just he's using the cowboy term as a youngling, basically. So yeah. I might be just 18 year old. Yeah, the one who is talking is rather old, so everyone is a kid. The fastest man in the land. Something stringy. Not great material for the breaker's bow. A stretch of misgut prized by bowyers and pelt ball fans. One more reason for the popularity of mis ball uh, mis hunting. Whatever the hell a mis is. <laughs> and yeah. when we're locked on to things, we will well aim true on those targets. 
Good news is the emergency defenses still work. Bad news is they aiming for the kid. I might know what a Mies is. Let's see. No. Oh, no, the, the Mies is plural for moose. Okay. So if, if one moose, moose. Everyone, Mies. Basically, like, if you say goose, Except then you say geese. From a dusty old tone. Okay, good. He's a yep. mighty fast learner. Special move for the, the coal hammer. No, let's not fall off. Let's grab these. Plus one black tonic. Let's see if I remember correctly, black tonics are the special ability. Look at that drink all that. The distillery, right next to the arsenal. Tough part of town. One sip of the spirits in that distillery, and the kid will feel like a new man. And yeah, these are where we get our upgrades. As we level up, we unlock more spaces for them. Let's see, Squirt Cider plus 10 mouths. <laughs> what? The red rum? Yep. Let's see, fermented squirt extract with a nose of stale bread and ocean water. Very nutritious. I'll take your word for it. Red rum plus 10% critical chance, active only when at full health. Pungent concoction that calms senses and steadies nerves. Favored by the breakers and other fighting forces. Then fetch and fizz. Absorb stray fragments. Okay, they're called fragments. Started as a barroom br prank, but evolved to become popular with miners and scrap workers. Metallic wait, wait, aftertaste. Wait, wait. Wait, let's take a look at the bottle's design. Yeah. It's a magnet. <laughs> with a squirt stuck in one end. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's that then. Like, yeah, let's take that one. Basic, but functional. And over here. Is where the kid can pick the best tools for the job. Let's see. We have this. Yep. I just had it wrong. It's a sail hammer. Uh, kale hammer, not the cull hammer. Uh, yeah, you get to choose your own stuff. And long. As well as one special. Let's see, dancing shot. A secret, uh, a secret breaker uh, technique that causes an arrow to bounce from target to target. Originally intended only for spectacle, but it proved to have practical uses. Okay, let's take that for the moment to deal with uh, swarms. And yes, stick with these. You can go with only melee weapons or only ranged weapons, but let's keep it balanced. There we go. That's a very easy way to deal with them. I think we can deal with big targets. Squirts birthing like crazy in a couple of golden bins. Okay. Big targets we can probably deal with perfectly fine. And yes, this is <laughs> that's what spawned these squirts. So of course we'll have to deal with those as quick as we can. Oh dear. Keep an eye open for stuff. Also, if that one was Maud, the tutor. Once taught the kid good manners. He never used them though. Uh, yeah, for some extra bits, we'll actually have to smash the ash statues. Sends the kid on his way. The bastion's real close now. And Wait, yeah, you... when the kid and the, the radical clash, that is when you actually manage to right when you pull gotcha. off a power shot. And you can uh, you can send stuff back to their originator or sender if you manage to block them at the right moment. Um, kid don't go down that easy. Uh yeah. <laughs> You can go down a few times, though. Oh. Something heavy. He takes a chunk of alloy. The smell of barley and spoiled blueberries fills the air. 
It's I've got material for the kale hammer. Hmm? Uh, oh dear. <laughs> A chunk of a precious alloy found deep on the ground. The staple diet of gas fellas, also used in all manner of industry. Also, I hope the music isn't too loud. Uh, not for me. But also, did you smash the bot in the, in the, in the place? Uh, the what? The kid maybe uh, shouldn't have done what he just did. Was it there is a ash statue in the bar? Yeah. Did you smash it? Nope. But then again, we already got to, we already got told what did him in. But yeah, we probably would have gotten more info if we had smashed him. Kid puts in that ace misery. Okay, yeah, these. A scumbag there we go. Yeah, scumbags are annoying. Because they they leave behind puddles that'll damage and slow you. Basically, the issue you had today on Ori. Yeah, with the freaking slimes. Okay. And this is easier to invade in these kind of games. Somewhat. Yeah. Okay. Just grab all of these. Doesn't look like there's anything on the sides. Nope. Gotta keep an eye out for the holes. <laughs> he finds the core to the wharf district. And here we go. He steals the city's heart. Might as well. Yeah, once you find the core of a place, uh, has a feeling you better get a things start going bad. Yeah. You yep. can miss those. I'm going to need to use, get used to the timing of dodging. The skyways in sight. Wins him where he needs to go. There we go. Yeah, most if not all now levels will end that way. Stranger still. His mind races. Did anybody else survive? Sure enough, he finds another. He finds me. Yep. <laughs> we talk for a spell. Let's see. Ask about what happened to Nacy, a girl, the, the girl who used to pin her hair back with this. Is she here already? Where is everyone? I try to let the kid down gently. This is the Bastion, all right. Except no one else showed up. Yeah. We're the only ones here. Or ask about the large bluish mineral found in the wharf district. It feels warm to the touch and hums like a motor. What exactly? What exactly does it do? All I tell him is to set that core of his on the monument there. Then watch. Uh, Mr. Cryptic. And the city crests. Ask about the seal representing the city of Ceylandia. Weren't these only meant to be for uniform identification? There's a bit of the Bastion's power in that crest. Enough to point the way to the cores. Okay. Put it into place. And just like that, the Bastion comes alive. Starts growing again. Growing stronger. Kids gotta put its power to good use. Now the Bastion can send him even farther into the wild unknown. Yep. And yeah. He won't say anything more to us unless we have something new. The Bastion ain't gonna build itself. Well, not entirely. Okay. I, I like the narrator. I like him. Yeah. I. I'm pretty sure I've never had all of what he has to say, but it would be interesting to just see a, vi <laughs> a video of everything he has to say for everything. Get on this, what to build. Let's see. We can build the distillery or the arsenal. We'll get to build the other one later as well. 
Uh, let's start with the distillery. Really? Yeah, we've got a decent amount of set of weapons at the moment. Makes time to send Plus, we have a new for my personal supply. Okay, let's see. Hardy Punch. Plus one chance to carry on if defeated. Damage surrounding foes if defeated. Aromatic beverage served piping hot. According to folk tales, it can almost wake the dead. <laughs> well, it'll get close. Let's see. Plus 100% critical chance. Active only when below 33% health. So, yeah. Risk wait, 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 stuff. wait. Hmm? You didn't read the name. Yeah, we are whiskey. <laughs> Scentless yet very brisk beverage of boiled rattletail whisker. Used to revive patients in triad centers. <laughs> okay, so basically drinkable smelling salts. Uh, and then we have Cinder Brick Stout. Plus 33% speed while defending. Spicy, nutty flavors and a dry aftertaste. Very heavy in filling. Also, just that bottle. Really? Just shaped like bricks? Oh, good <laughs> gods. <laughs> going to be absolute hell to get every drop out of that. Let's take that one. Party punch is so zesty. It'll let you carry on through the worst of times. And yes, he will comment on most, if not all, of the drinks. Uh, you don't know what's out there waiting for him. Yeah, he has the voice that sounds pleasant to hear. The Skyway. Now the kid can ride the wind in distant lands. Uh, yeah. Hmm? I, I, I know what, what you can describe that voice. But what you can classify that voice. He has to a very good storyteller voice. Yep. He he ate the, the, he even did a uh, announcer pack for Dota 2 and probably some other things as well. <laughs> I think this is a retro. I I do recognize his voice. The Wharf District. Folks sail deep into the boundless sea from here. Okay. Uh, yeah, we can get a bit of info in every area. <clears throat> Pardon? Uh, let's see. What do you have to say about the Bastion? The Bastion. Ceylonia's safe haven. Once the highest point in the city. Too bad it wasn't finished before the calamity struck. Yeah. Okay, we could go to this place, the Workman Wards. Or detect it, find it, and bring it back. There may be useful supplies here as well. Or we could go to the Breaker Barracks, which is a proving ground. Basically, a challenge. Here, the Breakers once honed their skill and focus with their bows. The Breaker Barracks. Many straight shooters learn their way here. The Workman Ward. Them windbags used to keep the city humming along here. Okay, which shall we do? Continue on or get extras? Let's get some extras. So it might help us in the long run. There we go. Let's see, with the breaker's bow, yeah, four power shots. The breakers used to come here for target practice. Used to play a little game. See who could bust the most targets in the fewest shots. And face plant. Okay, clear all targets in a few shots. And yeah. Depending on how we do, we can get either three rewards, two rewards, or just one. So let's see. Uh, he's focused, he's armed, and he's off. Let's see. If I can line these up. Wait. Perfect shot just happens in a flash. Okay, so it takes multiple hits on these to break them. Or I just missed off, or I just messed up the power shots. Okay, can I get these three in one shots? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely messed it up then. Yeah. Could have done better. 
Okay. Something stringy for upgrades and something fancy. Let's see. Upgrade material for a certain weapon. A clockwork organizer. Once used for work and recreation. These springs and sprockets could be put to better use. Oh, in the arsenal. Plans for a facility that stores weapons and secret skills. You just need a place to build it. Salandian pioneers always traveled light, locking up anything they didn't need on hand. Okay, if we built the arsenal, we probably would have gotten the plans for the distillery there instead. Yeah, fragments of the old world, usable at the bastion. Okay. He returns with some of the materials we need. Bonk. <laughs> Anything more you'll say? Ain't always much to say. Nope. Okay. Just roll on. I recognize the on. voice. I just don't remember. It's not Morgan Freeman, that's for sure. <laughs> no. He does he does put on a similar tone, but no. Yeah, that is confusing me so much. Between bad and wrong. Ought to be a core down one of these twisted streets. But which one? Yes. He is also different from the film, but he does have a little bit more wide western feel almost here. Yeah. But I do know the voice. Says I know I've heard that voice before. I just don't remember where and again. Probably from the era where you did not when I personally did not usually look up voice acting. Like a hood. No white gas fellows all dress alike. Kids wondering the same thing. Let's see. A soiled garment like, like the <clears throat> like the gas fellas wear. Gas fellas used to tend the mines, but now we're storming the remains of Ceylandia in alarming numbers. But for what? Let's pick up an extra potion for a heal. <laughs> and there it is, but it's locked down tight in an alloy cage. Okay, that was just a guess. Okay, yep. a blustery old foreman's keeping his fellas in check, almost like he's showboating for the crowd. Okay, yeah, they'll just knock us away. So we do. We have to fight this as a duo. Up, up. Come on! Their health shows underneath their, yeah, underneath their feet. Uh, well, not that these have feet. And they all beat a retreat. Okay. Uh, we could just grab it, but we can look the other uh, down the other parts as well. I, I don't think they were retreating. What them? Well, I think they were cheering, but there were a lot of hearts over their heads, and they raised up their hands. I mean, like, for the yes, side, find the free. Where windbags used to keep the local forge. Oh, yeah, yeah, they, they, they were begging them. for their lives. Oh, dear God. Odd place to find the likes of Percy the Snitch. Never much cared for that big, wide grin of his. <laughs> nope. Keeps telling himself he better watch his step. Okay, that spot here. Since we don't have any space to dodge. Somehow that old forge is still standing. Nope. When little thing to notice that the boxes don't seem to start opening until you get close, actually. The forge. Inside the forge, he can fine tune those instruments of his. Yep. And this is what we use the fragments and the, bleh, the upgrade pieces for. Let's see. Crit chance. Let's see. A, heavy, a harder, heavier hammer hat that delivers greater force on impact for 50% damage. Whoa. Or a battle head, a specially weighed hammer hat that can punch through anything. I'd say extra damage is the Kids better choice. Friends looking fit to keep on fighting. But we don't have enough to upgrade it any further. 
And with the Breaker's Bow, we can choose between the Speed String, a light but durable bow string designed for faster firing, and the Power String, plus two target penetrations per shot. A thick and heavy bow string that's packs superior power. Okay. Oh, that one is trickier. Yeah. Let's pick that up. Any extra beyond what we can carry also gives a bit of experience. So also nice, you know, a nice little way to reward you for playing well. No. Let's try the other way. the scored steps. Won't be no field trip this time. He just missed a button over there. I don't think that's a button. Bottle. Yeah, bottle. Yeah, I'm, I'm saving that for if we need it. And well, oh. we can refill it now. It's okay, warm. I get you. I just, just about anything. Except for this. It's quick for slicing and light enough to throw. It's yep. I thought you accidentally threw it off the cliff. <laughs> no. What's just a leap? <laughs> no, you can actually throw it. And dice. Yeah, it attacks really fast, of course, Oop. but it has low damage. They say even the most rambunctious squirts can be tame. Like uh, squirts don't make the best of friends, but they can be useful in a pinch. Uh, yeah, we can have our own little pet squirt. <laughs> Not sure if they are any good in combat, but they do function as a distraction that way. Get up. Little squirts just don't know when to quit. Slice and dice until it's done. Uh, that game came out uh, quite a bit later. Biggest dump in town. <laughs> Some scumbags still feeding on the city's own trash. And there he is. The oldest scumbag of them all. Gershaw. <laughs> what? Yep. That, 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 that's a reference. Uh, maybe. I, if it is, I don't know. It's the calamity ain't done much for Gershaw's sunny disposition. He cuts up Gershaw like a fine apple. Old scumbag didn't feel a thing. <laughs> a fine apple? Really? What? Uh, yeah. Cider apple would make no sense, but why not? Well, your Wild West comparison fits a bit better than you might think. Oh. Okay. Let's heal up. Can we actually do this multiple times? Hmm. Maybe, but. Well, we're full up, so I can't really check now. Also, let me grab this for the experience. It is slow going, but it will stack up over time. He hears the whole place groan, but it's too tough to fall. Kid's ready to go, and his ticket out's right where it started. Hello. Something sharp. A red machete. Material for the war machete. A batch of Zulwood leaves. Best not handled barehanded. The world's sharpest blades are treated with taru. Oh! Yeah, I think that all blades like that in real life. <laughs> he comes back, just like I knew he would. The core hums in his pack. The monument's calling for it. It's... Ask about the ragged hood, belonging to some ill-fated gas fella. Why are they flooding the city, ransacking its remains? The windbags used to be alright. Then the calamity took the floor out from under them. Hmm. Kid does it again. Only fair he decides what we build next. I'm guessing with 
what he means with that is that they had an agreement with the locals or the Ceylonians and well <laughs> when everything went to hell and they stayed they basically go f <coughs> they go for uh, the, the opportunity it's mirror shield available the dash is a place of peace but we can hold our own if we have to let's see secret technique that automatically counter blocks all incoming attacks for a short while make famous Uh, someone checking in. Uh, let's see. And it's uh, made famous in a spectacular showing in the Bullhead Court. And yeah, this squirt lore. A special code that summons a loyal squirt companion to the rescue. Popular at children's birthday parties and useful in various other situations. <laughs> of course. Okay. okay. Yeah, th they said that the, they want to reset the router, but I'm not having any issues with the internet. Is it? Does my phone have a connection? Phone has connection. Why the hell do they want to reset the router then? Nothing is wrong at the moment. Test one, two. Test one, two. two. Okay, for, for some reason, VC face is being shy with mo showing mouth movements again. Let me just do this for a second. Okay. Don't know why it does that every now and then. Let's get the dancing shots. And let's actually go back to the hammer. Because the, the war machine is nice and all with its speed, but it is a bit low on power. It would be better if we combined it with the uh Ain't much the berserk can't tonic. Handle with hammer and bow in hand. And yeah, he will comment on every combination you can make with that. Uh, wait, what was that? Yeah, there was a squirt making noise. That's sort of like an instrument. Squirt cider will toughen you right up. Too bad about the musty aftertaste. Okay. I have a feeling the developers enjoyed... Uh, Picked up traces of other cores while the kid was out. They, they, they enjoyed the drinks, just... Yeah, then you're the flavor, not the drunkness, obviously. <laughs> Probably, yeah. Let's see. We've got the melting pot. It has to, it has to be locked in. You know, we are up in here somewhere amid all the cargo. The melting pot. Place hoarded all sorts of fineries from beyond the boundless sea. And the sundown path. It should be along this precarious walkway. Be careful up there. The sundown path. Lovely place for a stroll. Before the calamity, that is. Alright. Which of the two? Hmm. Is the corn in both? Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Ooh. Something being glitchy on the background. For me, that is. I guess. Uh, what was the other one called? Melting the Pot in the Sundown. Okay. Totally not because you want to go cook something. You did it. Better days like that. the melting pot was sealed tighter than the skin on the squirt. What? <laughs> <laughs> a surprise no. hug from above. Oh, the little squirt! <laughs> yes, why squirt? To survive the calamity, it had to be stab weeds. <laughs> Yep. Blasted things hurt like a broken heart. Yeah, we're going to have to deal with that annoyance. Okay, I thought, I thought it would start forming up. Did, did um, it really drop me yeah. through this little gap here? Oh, uh, you, you, you walked off the whole thing. Okay. So we gotta keep passing through these then. Core, he figures it ought to be deeper down. The way the kid is grunting, he is not a kid. One of those fancy cages. 
emergency cage. <laughs> yeah, okay. that means that there's a fight to be done first. Let's see. Quick mine. Some of the stuff lying around is downright dangerous. Yep. He throws a switch. Now what could possibly go wrong? Quite a what bit, the heck is... as it turns out. The cage starts lifting from the core ever so slow. All Kim um... can do is wait. Hmm? Should oh. it start in? Yep. I would say this doesn't look so bad. Some spring to the kid's defense. Judging by the movement of the cage, it's gonna take a little while. We have some allies in this. Even if there are just a few little squirts, literally and figuratively. Yeah, they're actually being pretty good in combat here. Scumbags don't take kindly to the Oh, oh that goop is really annoying. Gas fellas take his corner. Very pop that meat on the floor. Oh yeah, if if one of them has hearts like that, that they're allies. Maybe five more minutes. Maybe thirty. Not to tell. But they have to confirm it. Yeah. Real territorial around the core. Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, yeah. They were not retreating the earlier. Every sample shows up. <laughs> You're enjoying the freedom! Oh, ancient spices? I'm sure that cage is awful heavy. Yep, let's creep that down. Damn a surprise. And yeah, now we have flamethrower. <laughs> it turrets as well. Oh no. Distance, we've got some more. No, not allied ones. Okay, a few moments left, and the core goes free. Ten, nine, eight, seven, give or take a few seconds. <laughs> Finally, the core's within reach. Uh, let's just grab He's it and go. I swear, he ha this voice actor has so much fun. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure we could have gotten the other way, but I don't think we would have found too much there. And we can always return to place, I believe. I still remember the look Actually, on his face. Actually, I'm not sure if we can. One. Okay, put that thing into place. The old world's finished, but the new world's just getting started. Hello? Let's see. Ask about the ancient spices found tucked away in the melting pots. Where did they come from, and when? Folks voyaged across the boundless sea to found Ceylandia. It was good living here for a while. Is there, is, is there something flashing across the screen on your end every now and then? Because something in the browser is being actively pinged or something and causing it to flash over the game every now and then for me. I don't see it. I don't see it. Okay. Only that someone flashes at the moment I blink, which I doubt. But that okay. would be terrifying timing each time. <laughs> yeah, just a nuisance I'll have to deal with then. Let's see. Plans for a facility that transmutes cabinet materials into weapon upgrades. Just need a place to build it. The old forge from the workman yes, from the workman ward was the model for many others uh, found in Ceylandia. 
Just let me think I know of a way to possibly fix that. Give me a second. Just shrink that down a ton in height and just put it below. That way it shouldn't be any bother. A lot of things need fixing up in this world. And we can start right here. Let's see. We can get 20% critical hit chance. Or attacks cripple foes, attacks deal damage over time. And okay, no, they're still flat. What is... What, yeah, what I'm not is seeing the flash yeah, but so I guess if this it is, is the like, certain, hmm. I guess it's good that it's not at being picked up by OBS. Yeah. Let's see. Um, let's get draw speed. Good. That bow's like new again. And yeah, we can just freely switch between. We're basically just unlocking the the tier. Let's see. This this. What is causing that? Hmm. It, it flashes too fast for me to get a good enough look at this. Or what it actually is. What ask the what's actually doing it? Let's see. Uh, anyways, fifty percent damage on the bow. Or arrows cause damage over time. A noxious arrow steeped in the muck of a scumbag. Or a devastating arrow bristling with a hundred stab weed bars. Okay, yeah. It packs a special surprise in every one of those arrows. Let me guess. It was, it was the flavor text that sold it for you. I would have gone for the damage anyways. Because, yeah, I'm, we mostly want to go for the power shots since those deal the most damage. Yeah, like, I don't mind damage over time skills, but it will depend on the foe, really. Yeah. We've got Windbag Ranch Proving Ground. The squirt population was kept well under control thanks to this place. That's Windbag Ranch. Perfect place to work a blade if you got the stomach for it. Yes. Continue on to the Sundown Path or get some more goodies. Mm, some more goodies. Yeah, they, they loot, are pretty quick loot. as well. Loot, 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 loot. Windbag loot. Ranch was built for gathering squirt extract and copious supply. Ain't nothing more healthful. I just realized a lot of the term he uses is actually, I think, possible terms you hear a lot of Western so movies. Like squirt and wing bag. Slippery little devils. Other folks came to train their throwing arms. Throwing arms. Okay, the, the turrets are killing them as well. Again, it's flashed there. What the fuck is... I'll have to double check that. It hasn't been happening in other times with streams. Or it has with some, but... Still others use the place to test their finest blades. Not too often, or rather rarely. Usually isn't fixed. If we can find out what is actually causing it. I think I see. I thought it was kill a certain amount, but no, it's kill all of them. That's why I left these up. You mean you messed up? Yep. Yeah, you you made it harder for yourself. You can redo this, I hope. Yep. Music. Yeah, it is good music. 
Yeah, I think I heard that they are very well known for picking very good music for their games. Yeah, you. Okay, next time, go for the. Okay, these actually count as well. Yeah, that wasn't too good. Yeah, okay. you, you... In different cases, you accidentally made it harder for yourself. Okay. Hmm. But yeah, it... Kid comes no, back from Windbag Ranch, smelling good and ripe. I beg your pardon? <laughs> upgrades. Let's see. I don't have enough money for it though, nor enough fragments. And yeah, it doesn't show what other ones, what other upgrades there are. Okay, what the hell is causing that? It's getting real annoying now. It's not VC face, shouldn't be. What do you think, Seth? I got another side of drink. Let's see. Volume mixer shouldn't be that either. Is something off? the side or something hmm. okay. let's give it a second shot let's see green okay Always green squirts please the squirts, they used to say. okay give me that and immediately going for these Without falling off. Best to put them away first before they rile up the others. Get back. Okay, at least the turrets help somewhat. Okay. Now just the turrets. And one squirt. There we go. Really? Yeah, That's... you... You, you didn't okay. do much better. Next price under 90 seconds. Okay, yeah, they have to get real fast with all of that. That a very, a very good upgraded blade. Hmm. I'm not sure if the upgrades really apply, but... I'm guessing they expect you to just... click and throw the thing... as much as you can, instead of chasing after them. Either way, moving on. Couples used to walk the sundown path. The kid ain't here for pleasure, though. <laughs> of course. <laughs> the camera centers on this, and nope. Oh, poor lad. Not the thing. Somebody gets to the core before the kid. The floor starts giving way under the lightest step. Well, go panic squirt to bring the whole place down. Fragments of the old world rain in the sky. Stray valuables are lying everywhere. The kid thinks twice about risking his eye. 
he says as we go for them. See, the path was intended for me. Should we stroll them and such? Not so much for noise and town foolery. Town foolery? Sky bridges link the path together. One of them bridges whips the kid along. Air travel always was an iffy proposition. Okay, I. I thought it would throw us that way to the, to the uh, spyglass there. Guess we'll have to miss that. The calamity changed everything, even where the wind blows. That. Well, if we mastered the winds in the old days, we can do it again. Question is, who else could have taken the core? Yeah. Well, ain't no survivor stole the thing. Scumbag ain't by mistake. Get out of that. Well, so much for that. No, they used to ship live munitions down the path. We'll find time to find them. Yep, now we have grenades. It's wise to toss those strong ones. Far away. Even gas fellas need some shut eye from time to time. They get real cranky. Right there. Oh wait. There we go. Okay, something burns. Okay, we'll check it in a second. Like that. And gone. In all this toil, kid keeps coming back to an overwhelming question. Who else could have survived the calamity? On Avengers. So we didn't find the core that time, but that ain't about to stop us. Yeah, there you are. Sometimes a single look says it all. Yeah, especially when you have nothing to talk about. Let's keep the grenade as is, for the moment. Let's see. Something burned. Upgrade for a certain weapon. A slab of burner stone. Blown topside during the calamity. Forged in flame already. It is highly resistant to heat. Let's see. Let's go with that. Wood oil and that blade shines like a light. And double crit damage. A sturdy, well-balanced grip, ideal for close combat. Or plus one blades per throw. Special mechanism that launches hidden blades from the grip. <laughs> okay. Assassin's Creed wants to you know your number. The machetes are so quick, you gotta keep a good grip on them. That one might make the other shadows easier. Maybe, if it does stick with it and doesn't give us a basic one. Now, so he hasn't told us his, his name yet. Swap over to this. A bow and a machete. Every bit as effective as the fancier stuff. Yeah. Stranger still. Okay. Now we have Trapper Shingle. Another proving ground. The trappers once tested their hunting rivals as well as their footwork here. That's Trapper Shingle. Only place in the city to go to get certified with a repeater. And the Hanging Gardens. Beyond that, no telling what awaits. A veil hangs over this place. The Hanging Gardens. Folks used to go here to relax from their relaxing. <laughs> okay. Proving ground, then? Uh, let's go for Proving Ground. 
Well, apparently call it need a rifle. Yeah, a repeater at the least. No place better than Trapper Shingle for learning to tread light and shoot straight. Trappers had to tread real carefully, else take a nasty fall. They yeah. train themselves by clearing out the targets while not clearing out the floor. But I must say is that all guns that can fire dark and arrows. Okay. Any good trapper knows never to take a step till the time is right. Basically we have we are on a time limit. Aiming is a bit I iffy, since you're more aiming for where the f yeah these are on the quote-unquote floor than instead of where they actually are. So if you're shooting at it from a, an angle, most trappers couldn't get through without a few scrapes. You yeah. Some trapper wouldn't walk away empty-handed. Yeah, rather annoying with this. Let's see, something nasty. 48 or more targets for the second one. Okay. Mm. But yeah, I, I don't like the repeater at all. To think a rickety place like the shingle survived, and so little else did. Okay, let's have a look at that. Oh, nope. Let's see, a prickly, bunch of, uh, a prickly bundle of bones from a carrion critter. The city never got uh, these under control. The calamity did. Okay. Off to the gardens. Flashing has stopped, though. The dead welcome him with open arms. Too soon, I'd say. What? The mm. calamity took everybody after all. The kid sees a plain, frozen faces all around. You don't much care to see him. Not like this. Oh, there's an, oh, another one. Folks never saw the calamity coming, but someone did. Someone close. Someone who ain't like Mr. Bentley and his kindly wife. It was someone like him. Survivor. So they don't see seem to be happy. Game. Flesh. It's a snag or two trying to get to him. He ain't about to stop, no matter what. And you don't seem to be too happy to be alive. He's got so many questions after all. Keeps on falling. Naughty the bird boy. Didn't make it. Anything this way? Uh, just some apples. The Jawsons. They didn't make it. Jawsons? Grady Senior. Grady Junior. They didn't make it. But him, he survived. Oh. Kid finds 
proof enough that man ain't from around here. Uru Sijin. Insignia borne by uh, people of Uru heritage. Ura. The tongue... Ura, yeah. <laughs> the Tazel Spade was a rare sight in Ceylonia before the calamity, as very few, uh, very few Ura uh, lived in the city. Now there are fewer still. Oh. Oh, that's... Just think, without that man, we wouldn't be here right now, would we? <laughs> The core survived as well. Yep. Except you. You. Kid does what he has to do. And then. What do you say to a man who's seen too much? Kid hasn't a clue. But he says this. We have to go. Please. And it may as well scatter the ash as well we can. He's a proper gentleman, that man. His name is Zolf. No hiding, he's an Ura. Folks like him ain't never been a common sight in Ceylandia. He's relieved to see a living face or two. The kid and I introduce ourselves in kind. Both to him and to each other for the first time. Oh, that was his score. I thought that the red thing was his beard. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm almost worried. Interesting style is white mustache and a very blood red beard. That's a style. No, it was his score. <laughs> Oh god, you see yourself yeah. from this angle. And his name is Rux. Let's see. Ask about the Ura sigil discovered in the Hanging Gardens. Were there many Ura living in the city before the Calamity? Can they be trusted here? We fought the Ura decades ago, but that was then. Things are different between us now. And so. Let's see. Talk to Zolf about life in Ceylonia before the clan. What was it like, like living in the city? Didn't you get homesick? For Zolf, Ceylonia was like a second home. He's real worried about his first home, too. Far to the east. And show Zolf this crystal beret from the Rippling Walls. You didn't happen to see a girl who wore this in her hair, did you? We all lost loved ones in the calamity, he says. And let's see. Have you been in Ceylonia long? Did you travel all the way from the east? He was born in the Tazel Terminals. The Ura sent him on a mission of peace to our city, and he's lived here ever since. Ambassador. Okay, another. Of course. They remember. That's why this place is coming together. That's why things are gonna be alright. And now we have more room to build. Well, look what we have here. Let's see. Memorial or the Lost and Found. Let's see. Plans for, plans for a structure that chronicles past and future efforts. Just need a place to build it. A necessary testament to the calamity. By paying tribute to the past, one may better prepare for the future. Can't argue with that. And plans for a facility that holds and restores a variety of valuables. Just need a place to build it. Calamity tore the old world to pieces, but even the smallest fragments can be restored in the bastion. Let's put up the memorial. Yeah, it is kind of fitting. The memorial. The yeah, kid can pay respect to the old world and earn it in kind. Mm, yes, it also doubles as a bounty board. Uh, the validation. What? Just another one of my sketches. Nothing more. Yeah, we have tasks here. Let's see. Earn glory on the proving grounds. Earn first prize in the required number of proving grounds. Seven for 5,000 fragments. Then we have the culture. Discover the lost mementos. 
Gain the required number of mementos strewn across the countryside. 15 for 1500. Use of fragments. The service oh, no. learn the secret skills. Gain the required number of secret skill techniques. 20 for 2000. The country restore the land piece by piece. Raise the required number of land pieces through travel and exploration. 1300 for 2000. The mercy. Vanquish creatures touched by the calamity. Okay, defeat the required number of different species of beasts. 11 to go. The masons show surpassing skill with the kale, uh, with the sail, uh, kale handler, whatever. Sail, <clears throat> in this case. Okay. Uh, deliver a single crushing blow to a foe that, uh, for at least 70 damage. Okay. And the breakers show surpassing skill with, okay. Three foes with a single well-timed power shot. And defeat a hardy foe, foe with the last bolt in a clip. Defeat a foe by counterblocking its melee attack while it at less than 20% health. Quickly strike, uh, quickly strike foes 15 times in a row without missing. And the scrap muskets defeat 10 or more foes in a single well placed shot. Well, we don't have that yet. Words can't express what happened, but they're all I got. And also, I didn't realize the currency was frag. I thought those were tiny bottles. We tracked down a couple more cores near the edge of the city. Come on, uh, let's see. No new proving grounds. We have the Pith Orchards. It should be nestled by the shrine to the uh, god of commotion and order. There's Pith but Orchard, built in honor of the bull, and folks like Zulf who pray to him. Yeah, orchard, not orchard. Oh, I think it's not a slight different. Okay, Cinderbrick Forts. Too bad it lies deep inside it, the toughest fort in the city. That's Cinderbrick Fort, where the marshals used to watch over the city. Okay, which then? Oh, wait, it's it's cool in both. Yeah. Only in the proving grounds there aren't. Hmm. Okay. And one of these we get a new weapon, I suspect. Uh, we'll get new weapons as we go. I just don't remember which where. Could be in both. Okay, now let's say Pipe Orchard. Okay. All right, we need to check it. <laughs> we need to check the drinks. No use praying to the gods these days. No time for it either. Okay. <laughs> Kid says a little prayer anyway. Couldn't hurt, right? Let's see. Anything this way? Folks used to make pilgrimage here to pay their respects to Pith, the bull. Well, the gods are long gone now. And the Orchard core is long gone, too. That's why we see a lot of bullheads. I was wondering what's that. Place places a dead end in more ways than one. Seems Pith ain't much of a watchdog. Where's a bull? Pith stood for something once. Something real. In time, though, the bull stopped being a symbol and started being decoration. Hello there. Something coarse. Not going material for a certain weapon. A coil of refined alloy, favored by machinists, used to make firing mechanisms and ammunition. Save his loyal subjects. Piv makes a decent scarecrow, at least. And this one wakes up. Then Piv lights up like a rodeo. Oh, come on. Ain't easy punching through his eye. 
Yeah, fire breathing bull. Kid breaks into bits. Must have been guarding that shrine. I'm sure this is not how shoot. So what'll it be? Invoke the gods or tell them off. Let's see. Foes shall grow uh, <clears throat> foes shall grow quicker to move and to strike. Wakeful bull. Patient yet temperamental adorns the city walls with his likeness. Piv. Let's see. Okay, ten percent extra figments and plus ten percent extra uh, <clears throat> fig fragments, not figments. Figment from it is it something different. And let's see. Hence, no idol available. Akobi. Lemain, Yavel, Ludric, Rothus, Mycia, Olak, and Garmuth. If you don't have any idols for those, you don't need favors for the likes of him. Okay. Oh yeah, basically the shrine is for. Go. Oh. Okay, we got that one on accident. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the shrine is basically for challenges. Okay. Or making, we're upping the difficulty. No need to get the gods involved. But with a fair reward as well. Yep. With a view. Slice and dice. That looks fucking bushes. At least we have a broken weapon. Kid ain't found the core, but at least he found Zolf's precious shrine. Okay. Now we can build a shrine of our own. Though I got some alternatives in mind. Uh, yeah. And now Zolf has made himself a little hot. Uh, what else is there to say? Nothing. Kid says hello, but Zolf's lost in thought. Okay. Is he gonna narrate everything? Basically, he is the narrator of the game. Uh, true. You have one would have expected the other characters to have their own voices. Oh, bull had court proving grounds. Very few emerge on skates from the bull had court, but many tried. That's the bull had court. Folks defended themselves there with shields, not words. Okay, let's give it a shot. These go by quick enough, anyways. The accused always got a fair shake in Celandia. Some used to take the bullhead trial. Okay. Survive the trial without taking a scratch. You'd walk away a free man. What? And of course, they're going to make it difficult for that. Oh. Yes, fella in the box. The bullhead trial taught folks three things. First, a good defense is a good offense. Second, gotta always watch your back. Third, ain't no godlike bull up there gonna save you. Okay, gotta hit it just when they start shaking. <clears throat> okay, a few hits taken, probably no first place. those things actually. They're like dragon heads. Yeah. 
probably going getting only third for a second prize. Can't actually use the potions that we have. So that was the only one we got. Bring it on! The smarter ones uh -oh. know when to just step aside and let things go. Okay. What is the moment to counter these? That doesn't really... Their slime hurts us, and when they charge us, they put their slime underneath us. So that's not really fair. Wait, smaller ones... Watch not to... Not... Are you, is he trying to hint us to make it ram a wall? Kid makes it out one of these. Okay. Kind of expected that. Okay, we just get a lot of fragments from that. Okay, 15 or fewer. I'm guessing first place is 5 or fewer, or just no hits at all. Well, a kid always wanted to compete in the bullhead trial. We did? Uh, not so much now, I think. Yeah, well, right, he did. Not we. <laughs> okay, off to the forts. Oh dear. There's only oh one way to sit in front of the The hard way. Well, that definitely wasn't a soft landing, that's for sure. Sure, the city marshals may be gone. But now the force crawling. Now we're fighting between the defenses they and the uh, freeze or star or face the kid. Yeah, a three-way fight between the kids, the defenses, and the windbags. Oh dear God! We have a shotgun. Landarvas. Okay. Wind bags ain't much different than normal folks. All they want's a warm place to stay and a decent meal. Yeah, extra. Hey, 
yeah, sometimes we'll find an extra arsenal in an area just so we can well, swap our weapons. And yes, these home. So countering doesn't really work. Cinderbrick gave him enough heat and metal to munch on for a while. Well, the fort ain't theirs by rain. Can't blame them for one, though. Not a scratch on him as he presses on the higher ground. Well, there's a scratch. For yeah, two. Well, yes. <laughs> I was waiting for something. I did not expect it to be, to be you falling off. Grenades from earlier. It's, it's just reminding us to use them. Haywire. Windbags gummed up the works. It ain't afraid to get burned. with the flamethrowers. They trapped the kid in the middle of the fort's burning ground. Ah, damn it. Then they bring out the leaders of the land and all their scumbag moments. Level up. It's a bit hard to tell when all of them are blue. I mean, we want to say that they all dress the same. The wind yeah. eggs finally get the message. Okay, extra fragments. But, but yeah, the game does use the very same uh, model for each and every one of them. Yeah, and also, can you blame me for mistaking this for tiny bottles? A bit. But you can blame me a bit? Yeah. All right. I don't think they look like bottles. Like, they look closer to lockpicks of a sort. Kitty's the uh, dream of getting a marshal's badge, but not like this. Yeah, for me, they look like first like and a now tiny vial. Nobody down at Cinderbrick Fort. Kid shows up just as Ulf's telling me about his own journey to the city. Seems the only thing the calamity saved for Zolf was a smoking pipe. Okay, that's a pretty big one. Uh, let's see, Marshall's badge. Let's see, prestigious symbol of the city's law enforcement. The city's uh, citizens respected and admired the Marshals for their unwavering dedication to preserving peace and justice. And a well-crafted tube of glass and metal. This particular variety is hard to find in Zelandia, but it's said to be popular among the uh, Ura uh, people. Okay. Let's see. Did the marshals ever give you a hard time being an Ura and all? The marshals seem like good men, he says. They treated him with dignity. Okay, that's good to hear. Where did you get this? In the city you used to say this strong and this stuff was very strong. Zolf brought his antique smoking pipe all the way from the terminals. Okay, long way. Uh, wait, you can interact with it. Yeah. It's oh, no. Marshall's, 
The Marshals brought the city back to working order after the war, didn't they? Even since the Ura surrendered to us, the Marshals kept a wary eye on him. Okay. That in. Souls travels ain't much compared to what the kids had to go through for all this. Okay, let's put up the lost and found. The lost and found. Here, yeah, kid takes fragments of the old world and makes them whole again. Let's see. Uh, yeah, these are things we've missed, basically. So, let's grab the mementos. All it takes is some fragments, and the bastion makes it good as new. Let's see. Plush pith. Okay. And... Okay. Uh, I think some of these are only in here. Some things are just stuff we missed. Okay. Now I can see how big these little fragments in the bigger size. Yeah, they look more like jewelry. Yeah. But well, when, let's see. Save the rest. But on the battle map, they were so tiny that looked like tiny potion vials. Okay. Gravers. They arm a justice. They seemed unstoppable. Wait, what? Okay, let's continue our chats. Let's see. Maybe this can help you take your mind off things. You could help us find new Skyway paths. Zolf offers to help me plot the Skyways for the kid. At least the Calamity hasn't touched the stars, he says. Okay. And let's... Would you like to hang on to this? The Ura people worship the same gods as us, after all. Zolf doesn't touch the thing. Says the god of commotion is no children's toy. <laughs> and instead we get a mechanical bull. <laughs> Only the stars remain on the horizon. The mountains are gone. We're not close to the stars now, are we? We could always see the stars. We just never could reach them. No matter how high we build. Oh. <clears throat> the gods didn't bother to stop the calamity, did they? The Ura feared the gods. We turned them into toys, put their faces on our walls. What's, what's new here? Or are just pointing out the new gear that we have. It's, eh, let's stick as is for the moment. Anything survives a musket shot ought to be quick work for that blade. Okay. Yep, one more. Let's see. <coughs> hmm. Let's go with this. No, not that one. This is. Hmm. Yeah, both aren't really too useful since, well, I'd rather not get too low on health. And we're not going to stay at high health all the time. So, let's, let's get that one. Fetching fizz is like a mouthful of nails. But the benefits are worth it. Wait, 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 what? <laughs> uh, I did not notice that bullet to you pull it. And what happens you Oh dear. Poor kid collapses after just one drag. Bonk. <laughs> wait. The past. Only good thing ever come out of the past is history. Yep. Extra little level. I really don't like enemies that leave behind slime trials like that. 
Yeah, they're busy trying to they're trap say you usually. Alive. Supposing what he says in his sleep ain't no lie. Hey, another he never knew his old man, but he had his mama to take care of. Frail thing with pure white hair like his. Machete is a pretty decent weapon since you can also swear words. Having his mama's hair did the kid no favors while he was growing up, but he learned to hold his own out there. Oh, let's not roll down. You can notice that the cursor for aiming so is a little bit out, off so the kid from where it, turn it actually goes. Walls. Make his mama some money. Yeah. And I mean, I saw something about making his mama some money, but how? They're making mon money for her. Yeah, but how? I work by. Basically, a run on the. Like a kid. The walls kept Zelania safe from whatever's out there. Basically, taking. The era. You name it. Yeah, out of healing. Uh. Because he became a soldier? Yep. Alright, then, uh, then I follow the story. Once a kid done his time, he hurried on home. Turns out his mama's time was done too. Oh. The fact that they they throw that goop as well when you hit them doesn't help much either. The city had nothing for him. The money he'd been sending home was nowhere to be found either. So what did the kid do? Why he went right on back to the walls for another five years? How old is he? Probably around 20 years. Probably 25, perhaps. It depends on how quick they let them you know, History of Ceylandia. Nobody has ever volunteered for a second shift on the walls. I probably should use the shield a lot more. Yep. What was I saying? Anyway. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> How there, kid learned to fend for himself, learn to build, learn to break. Hey, nine more rounds to go.
kid earned good standing with the marshals. They trusted him to scout out farther than anybody. You... We are not getting that ground back. Quite literally losing ground. Yeah, I think he's a, at least under 30. One night, I think. on one of his expeditions, the ground beneath him shuddered, cracked, and split apart. Oh dear. He saw nothing where the world used to be. The calamity happened just like that. Yeah, the kid's not had a good life. Those are more like shotguns. All the kid had to work with was his hammer and the clothes on his back. Damn it. Okay, he ran off on his own. Twisted streets. He ran with nothing but the city crest and an old stranger's voice to guide him. Yeah, heels. Come on. That one's hard to see behind there. Okay. Well, it finally arrived at Ceylandia's vaunted safe haven. He and no one else. Three to go. And I was a complete miss. Pretty sure the musket does the more damage the closer you get, but we don't want to get close to these in any capacity. But then, all they got was more thankless work from a man who ain't even asked his name. Oh. Wait, what, was the narrative talk about himself, or...? Yep. Yep. I may be the one who dreamt up the walls and the bastion, but the kid made him real, not me. Yep. Okay, just gotta wait this one out.
like to say I'll never forget him or what he's doing, what he's done. I surely would. It ain't to have an easy life after, or before or after this. Yeah, it's still. Let's see. That's for the hammers. Let's go get that. Find his keepers. And let's get the, the liquor. I said, what inspired Darkest Dungeons? I'm pretty sure Darkest Dungeon came after this game. Maybe? Uh, the narrator said he has, has been a thing for a while. Yeah. Let's see, you won't be able to upgrade. Okay, let's have a look at the new booze. Yeah, uh, let's keep that. Let's see, Bastion Bourbon. Health tonic always refill, uh, fully restore health. Okay, plus two tonic yeah, capacity as well. Very good one. Soothing hot herbal brew with restorative properties. Hints of citrus and berry flavors. Okay, Lunkhead Liqueur. Plus 100 damage when counter blocking with the bullhead shield. Bitter leathery flavor comes from bits of Lunkhead scales. Believed to improve reflexes. We have uh... pale oil. Whale ale, not whale yeah, oil. Yeah, what's but... a sail? What the... A sail? What? You infected it's... me with this. Plus 25% damage using secret skills. Mariners concocted this mixture to see them through rough uh, waters. Smoke... Uh, yeah, musky, smoky aroma. And then stab scent. Automatically retaliate when injured. Okay. Waxy, thirst quenching drink refined from ground stab weed needles. Uh, spitting up the needles is considered rude but effective. <laughs> okay. If you're feeling low, count on the buttery flavor of our own bastion bourbon. Okay. I think we've got time for one more. Oh, now there's the blunderbuss and for the hammer as well, but let's actually go here. Langston River. It was last seen halfway down the river bank in the shadow of Prosper Bluff. They're talking about the, the core with these each time. That's the Langston River. Used to cut all the way to the wild. Think it was bad then. Okay. The Langston River flowed free and wild. Till the calamity drank it all up. Maybe all that water just grew wings and flew off. Like yeah, a bird? I don't think. <laughs> Wait, you really need to interact with the cart. Hmm? The, the cart flashed a bit. Yeah, from getting damaged. Oh. Uh, Riverbank swarming with wood bags. They're so bent on finding the core, they hardly notice the kid. Lucky for him, a certain famous fairy barge is still afloat. Gotta clear this thing out. She sends some squirts crying home as she leaves port. Maybe Nelly knows the way to the core. Maybe she can <laughs> slip right past all the clamor on the coast. Or maybe not. The security skiff pulls up port side. Nelly's just a like wind back to those guns. <laughs> security skiff? Just then, the windbags notice when she's sailing. They're pretty steamed about what happened at Cinderbrick. 
Yep. Quarters. They try to cut her off. They try to slow her down. They try to knock her out. Okay, you can also see on the by the the effects underneath the, the kids with their feet. Nelly tries harder. When Try the power shot is coming, go. she hits a snag. The kids gotta help her get untangled. Favors for favors. And immediately we walk off. Oh, for the love of all hellion. It's not like it's the easiest but to see with this angle. But I see. We know the reason you're falling in love with all birds. It's the core right there. It's it. a hard hit, but he ain't finished. Okay, that wouldn't hurt a lot more than I thought. Go. Then the kid hears an unusual sound, like a hundred flapping wings. Peckers. Yep, new enemy type. They have their own Peckers. It ain't got time to think it over just yet. He finds a weeping Nelly raring to go. Turns out she's got a special surprise for when the waters get rough. Yep, some flamethrowers on our side this time. Okay, let's get her moving. She's gonna need a little help with all them peckers. Crafty things think they're king of the roost now. Rest of us only wish we would fly in time for these. Wait, what? That's someone called king of the roof? Uh, it's a saying. A king of the oh, hill. Yeah. Oh yeah, that I know. Just... Security skips keep on coming to starboard side. I, I would feel like they shoot as long as they hit something. I would feel like it would be a bit a, a little bit you stretch too far to name yourself off of the phrase. If that makes sense. Also a phrase. Damn it. She's just gonna make one last stop. With her last breath, Nelly gets the kid in solid ground. Solid ground in bigger country. Seems the calamity ain't hurt the pickers appetites. Oh, we all the men here. Real bad. Trying to counter this plant. There we go. The shotgun works as a good counter. <laughs> yes, what? he does keep no, count. No, listen close. You should remember this next part. Yeah. Why go to Prosper Bluff? Used to take an enterprising man or a plain old fool to venture out that far. Blocks. The city was the most beautiful place in the world. We all knew that. But on the other hand, 
Some folks just yearn to see the things they're told they can't. Hmm? And that's why you go to Prosper Blood, ain't it? Yeah, at least the shotgun is dealing, yeah, is good at dealing with these birds. There, the kid hears something he ain't heard in a long while. How's it go, Ben? Hey, I'm the instruments. Yeah, that's the one. Now, Richard, you're not helping. Singing. Oh, yeah, it was not too far off then. You can do with you. not walk the plank. Uh, I have Hades vibes here. Did they? Did they recreate this into into Hades? Mm. There's also a character you meet that also sings. might not actually be the best at the moment. I wish I'd got a hammer. Okay, that one's blocked. Yeah, we found uh, another survivor. Besides, it's like the song goes. One day that wall is gonna fall. Gonna be... They'll be here before too long. We darn near celebrated when the kid got back, didn't we? Zolf never thought he'd see a fellow her again. We become fast friends. Calamity has that effect on people. But there was more to be done. There was one last core to find. Okay. But we've also hit our time limit. So... Yeah. Let's put that thing into place. Kid's surprised when I tell him there's only one core left. I shouldn't have believed it either. Are you going to the game? No, it's not that short. You should get at least one more stream of this. And 
<laughs> Hello, Cookie. You you joined in just for the end. Okay. I'm pretty sure it works with yeah, with checkpoints. Yep, your progress from the beginning of the area will be lost. So we'll just get to see that again. <laughs> and yeah, Cookie just arrived just at the, in time to see the end. Now I don't hate you. It's just you know, <laughs> bad luck. Yeah, bad okay. luck. Sorry. <laughs> but we do no, need no. sleep. Okay. Well, before we go, of course, we have to... Let's wait. Why is it not showing? Uh, there it is. Okay. So just... <clears throat> We're going to look for someone to raid. Okay. <laughs> you had some apple pie. Was it good at least? Eight. Uh, Those who takes me so far to said ale apple pie was getting very confused. Uh, there's probably a way to make apple pie ale. <laughs> you can always watch the VOD cookie if you want. And uh, your, your presence appreciated all the same, no matter how short or long. Yeah. No. <laughs> Let's have a look. Who are online for us to raid? We have Reef the Leaf, who is still playing Breath of Fire 2. Uh, it's Unia is just chatting at the moment. Let me double check that the place is muted. And beyond that, I believe all of... Uh, wait, okay. It's not muted in the volume mixer for some reason. Okay. Uh, let's see. It's Unia uh, just chatting again. The 12 hour, two year VTuber anniversary stream. <laughs> Okay. Uh, well, uh, uh, oh, they're, they're watching it. Uh, okay, that looks like uh, they were watching uh, Hell of a Boss stuff, and I didn't see that before, so it might that might be shorts or a new episode. I don't think there's a new episode yet. Maybe well, we a season episode? trailer. No, I don't think we missed. I'm uh, guessing it's a trailer or... Uh, Let's see, is any new pop-up on that or something? Uh, not that I'm seeing. Okay, back to Twitch. Uh, let's see. Next up, we have Azra Arcane, who is doing art. Intro VT is streaming the League of Legends. I'm Nice is streaming Legends of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom still. Frayne is playing Starship Troopers Extermination. Derpy Dew is also playing Zelda. Touch Scaly Tail is playing Darkest Dungeon 2. Uh, let's see. Cookie, I have Discord, but it might pass out soon again. Okay. Uh, let's see. Halloween 4545 with Sunless Sea again. They've been playing that off and off a bit. Hold on. And Smoops Are the Nonsense is playing Space Station 13. Puffle Cakey is still playing Disney Dreamlight Valley. And that's the people in our typical window. So who would you say, uh, Rakir, or would you <laughs> would you leave the choice to Cookie? Leave the choice to Cookie? That, that's new. <laughs> well, they did only get the, uh, the last bit of this. But the choice well, is yours. Hmm. I'm leaning Talk towards nice. Uh, Wait, they're playing, the, they're playing the Zelda game. You do want a spoiler on. Yeah, true, but most of the time it is just moving. You know, yeah, okay, that is story stuff. <laughs> so let's move on to something else. And I, of course, I end up clicking on the uh, the only other streamer who is also playing. And let's see. Do, okay, you can choose. Cookie uh, is letting you choose. All right. I. Right, just to not get indecisive. Darkest Dungeon 2. Touch scale okay. tail. <laughs> okay, which or was incidentally case... the one I clicked off away I clicked away to there. So copy name, slash raid and paste. Okay. Uh yeah. We should be done with uh, Bastion in the next stream, I think. So yeah, tomorrow after Showcase Sunday, we could either finish off Ori or Bastion. I'm guessing you'd prefer Ori to be finished? In this case, yeah, let's finish Ori. Okay. 
And yeah, yeah once we're done deal. with yeah, once we're done with Bastion, we'll move on to Transistor, which well, I don't actually know how long that could take. Uh, thirty hours. <laughs> uh, we'll see. For now, uh, yeah. <laughs> thank you, everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Cookie, and thank you, Drakir, as always. You're welcome as always, my friend. And yeah. Showcase, we have Showcase Sunday in the afternoon tomorrow, and then we'll finish Ori most likely in the evening, unless something comes up, of course. And yeah, with that, let's start the raids. And yeah, until next time, have a nice day, and until then, be safe, thank everyone. You all again for watching. Well, be safe, everyone. Sleep well, drink your milk, and watch out for seagulls <laughs> and windbags. Especially wing bags. Especially if they are plastic.